boy, if this video gets to 1,000 likes, I will make this my new Roblox avatar. Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are here back inside a build a boat once again and today we are going to be solving some more myths inside a build a boat and these ones in this video are going to be insane and you guys have got to stay tuned. Also before we actually get the video make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. Also comment down below your Roblox username because you might get a gift by me inside of the next video. But without further ado let's not waste any more time and hop straight into one of the first myths on the list. Also I want you guys to comment down below any myths or like tricks you guys want me to try out inside a build a boat for treasure because you're probably going to be featured inside of the next video so comment down below your idea all right this first myth that i actually want to try out is i've actually seen a couple people commented on my videos i couldn't find the comments but you guys have just got to see this so there's actually a trick you can do when you go to the end that is actually super super weird all right so i'm just gonna fly through the stages super normally like how i normally would we're just gonna be able to go through here and we're gonna grab the chest all right so we're now approaching the end of treasure here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna fly right down here and i'm going to grab the end chest so oh whoops i just face planted all right so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm going to go up to the chest but as i'm going up to the chest um when it does the unlock animation i'm gonna turn nighttime on and then turn it back off all right so this should be interesting so right here we're gonna go daylight off and then turn daylight on and if we look up look at this guys what the heck everything's all dark bro what in the world this is actually terrifying the sky is blue but everything else wait that was actually kind of scary that is something very interesting that you guys have just got to play around with because it just looks really really awesome all right let's go ahead and hop into one of the next myths all right so this next theory or myth that we're going to try out is uh we're actually going to take a part of a stage we're actually going to be bringing an entire secret to our plot like this is something this is something you guys have to see all right so we're gonna bring this portal right inside of here and we're actually going to take the hut with the secret item location inside of it. So we're going to probably... Oh, gosh. Fusion. 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 Relax. Whoa. So this right here is the secret area in which the uh, the plushie actually spawns in. But we haven't actually activated the door yet. So we're going to see what happens if you activate the door. Skelly, if you want to shoot the door with the cannon, you guys can see right here. We have, like, the thing you're supposed to shoot on the plot. Skeleton's going to shoot it. I'm going to be inside of the stage. And we're going to see what happens. All right. I'm going to go on the inside. What's going to happen if I spawn on... Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? Everything is completely just spawned in here, bro. All right, guys. This time, we're going to try taking a light from it, this little hut right here. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at this. We got ourselves our very own color-changing light right here. This is so sick. Look at this. It goes from yellow to red to white. And can we stand on it? I don't know if we can stand. Oh, we can. Oh, this is sick. Look at this, guys. We have our own, like, actual changing light inside of the game. No switches or anything with it at all. That's actually so sick. Oh, my goodness. All right. What are we going to do with this? this thing what should we name it i don't even know and then we also got this comment right here for our next myth they said if you place a block first and place a hinge on the block and put the jet turbine and chair if you want unanchored them all it will go fast all right let's try this out all right so i think what we actually need to do for this myth or theory right here is we need to take a hinge block like so so i'm gonna take this hinge i'm gonna place it straight up like this and then i'm also going to literally grab a jet turbine so let's go over here let's grab this jet right there there okay and then we just add a seat on it I, I i don't i don't know like uh the exact seat we're supposed to use we'll just use this one and oh gosh oh i don't think it's supposed to turn like that let me let me try turning it back uh, oh gosh okay wait this all right turn around turn around all right i have to try not to move the jet or try to bump it at all i have to be very very careful here so let's just uh go like that and then i think we just activate the jet and then do we do it oh wait wait a second all right let's try this way all right let's uh hop on there let's activate it anything is this going to work Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's working. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? Wait. How are we going so fast? All right. I'm going to try doing this at a little bit of higher elevation. So that way, we could try to go to the end treasure by doing this. But if you guys didn't see what I did there, I will show you a more in-depth way. So basically, I'm placing a hinge block just like this. And then what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a jet turbine like this. I'm placing it right there, smack in the middle. And I'm also grabbing myself a seat like this, placing it right there. And I'm not moving the jet because if I move the jet, it's going to throw off the course and then i'm just going to activate the jet just like this and i think we're going i think this is it 
All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Bro, why does it go so fast? Oh my, whoa. Bro, what? This is literally the fastest jet inside of the game by far. Nothing is more fast than this. I wonder how much gold I get from that. I feel like I'm not gonna get any gold at all just because of how fast I actually went through the stages. But let's see right here. Uh, we only got 36 gold. Oh my gosh, we went through so fast. It didn't have any time to count anything. Next myth is, is Bigfoot still here? And I get this comment in just about every single myth video that I make. Well, I'll tell you guys right now, Bigfoot did exist inside a build a boat. There used to be codes. I mean, it was literally a real thing. It was like a one in a hundred chance of seeing him around the map. You drop codes, you could redeem the codes. It was real. But they never actually announced it being removed from the game. But I have not seen any screenshots, any pictures, or videos of people coming across Bigfoot in like the past two years. So therefore, I think it's removed from the game. But then again, there was no official announcement saying it. So if you guys have ever came across Bigfoot in build a boat within like the past year, let me know down below inside the comment section and we're you actually found him like i said guys if you got close to bigfoot your screen would actually blur you'd leave a code behind it was as simple as that but they haven't actually announced that he got removed so let me know down below if you guys have seen it. all right let's take a look at the next myth here what happens if you put all of your purple jets on your body and use them to get past the end all right so if you guys are not aware i have over basically about 600 purple jets inside a build a boat put all these on my avatar this is going to be something else all right well if i'm gonna do this i just have to sit down inside of a chair like so i have to place a cake to my avatar so that way i can actually connect the blocks and here we go this should be extremely interesting my fingers probably going to get very very tired all right guys i've been clicking for a while it's so extremely laggy to place 601 i've only put 200 down and uh, it's placing about one every, like, ten clicks. So, I, I don't even know if this is going to even be possible. All right. Well, guys, I think I have enough jets here. So, I got these attached to my avatar, I think. I don't even want to know what happens. I think I'm just going to, uh... I think I'm just going to... I don't even know. How do I even activate these all at once? With the switch, I think? Oh, uh, let's see here. So, I think if I take a switch... All right. It's going to... It should connect all of these. I don't know if it is going to or not. But let's just press launch and see what happens. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Wait, is that even all of them? I don't even know what's going on. I think I lagged the game out. Wait, what? What is going on? Oh, gosh. Oh, there's a lag. Oh, yep. Oh, e whoa. If you guys could hear what this sounds like right now, they're all activated. <laughs> this is... Wow. What the... Oh, my... What the... What is going on? All right, well, I recommend not trying that at home whatsoever. That's going to completely lag out your game. And we also got another one of these as well. Myth, if you put all thrusters and ultra thrusters, you can reach to the end fast, and you have to reach the end. All right, guys, I'm about 200-something thrusters in right now, and uh, it's slowing down again, just like how the jets were. So I don't think it's going to get any better than what we have right here. Like, this is so many. Oh, uh, I don't really know what's about to happen. I'm scared to turn my Roblox audio back up. Ah! Wow, that actually looks so cool. That actually looks so sick. What's happening? Well, if you guys have any other myths or secrets you guys want me to try out, let me know down below inside of the comment section. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. And I'll see you guys all inside of the next one. Peace out and goodbye.